I don't know if you guys can hear me. Put a one in the comments if you can hear me. And also put your city and state so we make sure everybody can hear me in here. Hope I'm not just talking to the wall, you know, because the mic is on, I think. So what is the new ultra FICO score? Essentially, it's supposed to be optional and you can opt in in the beginning. But let's keep it 100. How many of you are on myfico.com? How many of you are using myfico.com? How many? What's up, Harlem Real Estate? Is the mic on? Can you guys hear me? It's the new FICO score that's going to be coming out in 2019. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, what's up, Michael? Uh, yes. Okay, Lance Brown, y'all can hear me? Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yes, yes, yes. You sound far away. Does this sound better? Is this better? Let me see. Is this better? Tell me if this is better. Tell me if the sound has gotten better, you guys. Do I sound better? Put a one in the comments if it sounds better. Hope you can hear me. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. It sounds better. Cool, cool, cool. It's the mic. My hair is over here on this side. So, all right. So, the ultra new FICO school is going to be having... Okay, got you. You guys can hear me. Good, good, good. So the new ultra fiber score is going to be including what? Your bank statements. Now, why is this so important? This is really important. Now, when I talk on this channel, exactly. Okay, Harlem Real Estate, you're getting to it. So, so when I talk on this channel about getting your credit repair, many of you are like, yeah, whatever, Erica, whatever, I got time. Whatever, whatever, I'm looking for a house next year. I'm looking for stuff next year. That time's over, bro. I'm just going to be really honest with y'all. This new FICO score is already here. I have a uh, higher end clients that some of you guys don't know about. It's like I have a $3,000 package and those are some higher end clients and we're going around and the five guinea pigs I have testing out the funding book. That's why I might even be not putting out the funding book at this point. We're testing out the theory. We're testing out and they're already asking for six, you know, 90 days, 60 days, 60, 60 months, 60 days of uh, banking information. They're already asking for it. All the online sites I use, Cabbage, uh, PayPal Working Capital, On Deck, uh, Lindo, all these people, like I, there's about 75 on that list. They're they're scanning. They're going, oh, we're keeping track. They're keeping track of, of what's in your account. How's your account doing? Why? Because they're already using that. They're already using Otrofico. Because a lot of people, this is what's happening. A lot of people took a lot of advantage of the Ty Lopez credit credit trick right a lot of people have been wearing out the credit card game for the past three years let's be really honest more like four years and they're getting 10 20 30 40 credit cards they're just going ham with these credit cards traveling getting points that's cool and all don't worry they're gonna fix that <laughs> like you know there's a reason when you buy any of ty lopez courses they have this lifetime warranty because they have to keep going back and adding Courses and videos and courses and videos because it keeps changing. That's why I did a big push here on this channel the past couple months for credit repair because I know I was not even going to do credit repair in January. I was just going to tell the girl on staff she could do other stuff on, on the team because I was like, it's going to change. And no matter if I make your credit pretty, if your bank accounts are ugly, if you're having a bunch of overdrafts, if you have a bunch of closed bank accounts, if you have a bunch of... Uh, uh, you know, secure loans and different loans that went bad at several different small banks. Banks are now clobbering together. If you guys have noticed, anybody in here seen early warnings? Put a two in the comments. Do anybody in here know what early warnings is? Put a two in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Because I don't want to be telling you guys something that's like, we don't even know what you're talking about, Eric. Early warnings systems. Does anybody know what that is? Anybody been denied by a bank by early warning system? Just, just put a two in the comments if you've heard what early warnings is. Harlem stories. I've heard they're going to be using banking info. You must keep at least 2000 in your bank account. Close to it. I've heard it's the checking account they're looking at. Greetings, everybody. What's up, Emmanuel? So, okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> exactly. National security, always ready 24-7. Exactly. So if you guys haven't heard of it, it's a company called Early Warnings. Now, before you had LexisNexis for checks, but checks are phasing out, right? And then you had early warnings. Now, what is early warnings? 
well, it was Wells Fargo, Bank of America, a couple other banks in there. They work together in a small conglomerate to do what? Make sure they told each other if you had messed up accounts with them. So you go to Bank of America and what happened? A lot of black people and a lot of white people, they went to Wells Fargo for what? The secure business credit card. And guess what? They got there and they're like, nope, nope. Why? Because you were in early warnings. So even banks that don't that are competing and competing markets with each other are putting this system in early warnings. Now, there's other systems similar to early warnings. They aren't as popular yet, but they're getting out there. Now, prime example. What, why is this important, Erica? Why is this important? Because a lot of you are saying, Erica, I'm just going to go to my small community bank, even though I messed up two banks down the road. Well, guess what? They're going to be connected. Why? Because a lot of times credit unions use a system uh, where you can use their debit cards at other credit unions uh, accounts, especially in Texas, very big in Texas. And guess what? They're going to tell each other that you messed up an account there. So people think this system, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, it just doesn't matter, Erica, about this new system. It does. That's why I put the picture of the houses on fire, because it kind of already is. It kind of already is. And this has been going on for a while. And, and when I had my client, like I was doing it for myself, I was noticing the request for, oh, yeah, we just need the last three months of your bank statements. Just give it the last three months. And it's like more and more banks, more and more uh, places that I'm applying for loans with. Oh, yeah, just give us the last three months. Sure, 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 sure. sure. You know what? We're going to approve this thing based on the collateral, but we'd love the last three months of your business bank account. Tell me. Right. And, and it used to be if you had two to three grand in your account, you know, you get these small level business credit cards. You start with the Spark Classic. Uh, then you go with the which is the gold card. You know what I'm talking about? The gold uh, card. Then you get the Spark Green and then the Spark Blue. That's changing. That's changing. I'm telling you, this thing is already in effect. Now, who is the last person of, that's going to get it in effect the word best? That's going to be credit unions. Smaller local credit unions are going to be your pals, your buddies, your friends, because it's going to take them longer to get on board. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, <laughs> Chase, they've already been turning people down for a while. For a while. They've been, this isn't new, right? For those of us over here, and I'm trying to be careful, for people like me and people, my clients, where we've been already applying for bank loans and business lines of credit, We've already seen this come through. Oh, you're a new company? Do you have three months of bank statements? No, we don't have three months of bank statements. Hmm. Uh, what's your credit score? You sure you don't want to use your personal credit score? Yeah, yeah, we're sure we don't want to use personal credit score. This has already been happening for the past six months. That's part of why I was going to get away from credit repair. One, because, you know, right now I have 100 and maybe 70 clients of credit repair currently. And, you know, it's like I have to chase people down to fix their credit. Do you want this credit fixed or not? <laughs> and I just thought, it's, it's, it's almost too late for people who are not paying attention. January is when they're just making it official. Now, many of you say, well, Erica, you know, I don't have to do it. It's optional. True. Now, here's the thing and, and give you guys an example. Um, since a lot of you didn't know what early warnings is because nobody put a two in the comments. People didn't know what that was. Make a note. Early warnings. I got to make sure you guys know about that more. Here you go. When you see people with cars with bad credit and Santander and some of these like, oh, what's that other people drive time? They've been putting these little trackers on the car where it plugs into the engine. And if you don't pay your bill, you can't turn the car keys and start the engine. So that originally was optional. For the real bad credit, you could say no. You could legally say no. Now. It's, it's not optional. If you want this car loan, this bad car loan, you're going to let us put this little thing in here and it's going to tie to your by your engine. And if you try to don't pay your car, we're going to crank get your car off. I'm hearing more and more people in credit repair and consults who have the car didn't crank. It was parked somewhere it shouldn't have been. And guess what? They told it. Somebody else told it. Now it's all this stuff. I'm telling you guys, like, don't be looking for any car loans. You want to do houses. I'm cool with that. But I'm just telling you. You guys, if you want to get in these business lines of credit, the next 62 days before January is when you need to be doing it. And here's the problem. Most of you are already checked out. I know it. Make sure you guys hit the like button. It's only 22 likes. Let's hit the likes. Let's you know how Sky that's going to do us tonight. But here's the thing. You guys are already checked out. I already know how some of you are like, man, Erica, October, 
It's Halloween tonight. Happy Halloween. Oh, man. Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. Uh, Christmas. I'm going to make a great Christmas for my kids. And you're already checked out. Right now, I'm working with clients who, what are we doing? Buying tax liens in Colorado. So that's what time it is. It's that time of the year. Tax lien time. December 31st. Tax liens in South Carolina. D D November. Tax liens. I'm sitting here telling you this is the time to buy. And many people already checked out. They're already in holiday mind. They're like, yeah, Erica, that's good for next year. I'm going to do that next year. But okay. Facts, Nikki, baby. Facts. Nikki Baby just said, I was in another live stream. He said, Capital One has been randomly closing accounts. Facts. Facts. Yes. Mm hmm That's why when I sit here and I try to argue with y'all, like, hey, go to these smaller credit unions. Let's look up the top 100 credit unions in your city and your state. And y'all are like, well, you know, I just want to go to Wells Fargo because, you know, I want to have an ATM that's everywhere. I just go, okay. Because the game y'all, people are trying to play, I already know. It's a wrap, right? So for those of you, uh, for those of you who are like, Erica, you know, I got a business on the side, but I don't got it legal. And I talk to people every day of the week who the last 17 calls I've done just in the last three days, I know every single one of them like, oh, I don't really want a business bank account. You guys listen to me. If you want these business lines of credit, you want these business credit cards, all this Duns and Bradstreet bullshit, it's, I, I don't care about that. You need to be putting your money, you need to have a business bank account. You put the money there. If you, prime example, Navy Federal, have your personal, have your personal savings, personal checkings, have your business checking, business savings. Okay. Like, like I don't teach on the whole five account method. Glendon Cameron does go over to his channel, purchase his thing about having have operating accounts and expense accounts. I don't teach all that. You know me. You've been on my channel. I, that's not my lane. What I teach you guys on is making sure you have extra income. This channel's always been about getting extra income. And now that I have Cam Cam and other people in the comment section who are like, get these tech jobs. Yeah. And guess what? They're, what are these jobs going to do, you guys? I'm so hyped. I had to calm myself because this was the video I was going to make yesterday until people just wore out my energy. And I was like, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm done. I'm just done with YouTube because this doesn't work. But you guys came through with lots of, a lot of positive comments. A lot of sales happened yesterday. A lot of you were like, hey, man, please don't do that. Um, and I appreciate it. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you this because... I'm practicing with clients. We're going to banks who are like, oh, yeah, we need three months bank statements. Every bank now is saying that. So you're saying it's January. It's going to happen. I promise you. I promise you. It's They're already doing it. Like they're just saying it on a national level. So I, I'm trying to help you guys now. But if you're a person who's like, Eric, I want a bunch of business credit cards. And if you've seen um, the guide I'm always putting in there for the credit cards. I'm putting that in there just fuzz, but there is that uh, if you're in the private Facebook group, you know what I'm talking about? The U.S. guide for credit cards that I shared in there. Go in there and look at that page and look at all the business credit card options. Um, basically, start with Chase uh, and then make sure you get the Spark card first. But like I've seen some people get as low as like five hundred or a thousand dollars with a business Spark card. It's better than nothing because in 90 days you can ask for an increase. But for those of you who think you're going to play this credit card game, you're not playing it next year. That whole Ty Lopez, all these points and all that stuff, people are not going to play it next year. And the reason why it's so important is they're going to be, you ever apply for these jobs? They're doing a background check. Many of these jobs are checking your credit. You're not going to get them. If you get 20 points knocked off your credit score right now, everybody in the audience, do you think a company is going to hire you? So when I'm sitting here with Cam Cam talking about people need skills, one, this is facts, Salesforce, all these things, these are necessary. You want to move up. But two, what happens when they check your credit? So, you, you know what I'm saying? What happens? So, I, I'm sitting here. Uh, right now, I just partnered with a trade line company just because the guy had talked to me at VidCon. It was something I was going to roll out earlier. But we can't even get that done to another 30 days. So, I think, what, November? What's today? Today's the Halloween. By the end of November, you guys can get some discounts on trade lines from me here. But... This is my juice for tonight. Got some uh, beets, carrots, kale, spinach, romaine, parsley, cucumber, lemon, and orange. It's pretty good. It's cold pressed. But even him, I was talking to him for a long time about trade lines. He was like, yeah, man, 
It's got some changes coming. We got to get down the, we got to get out here, man. And I'm just like, bro, I know, I know, I know, you know, you know, people have abused trade lines and, and, and don't ever repair their credit. That's a wrap, right? People do enough trickeration to get everything suppressed off their credit really quick, put some trade lines on it, pop up, get some credit cards, and then everything comes back on. That, that's, that those things are going to be, um, uh, Julia Dixon, I'm mostly against trade lines, but for people who are at like 650, 680, and they just try to get to 720 real quick, see, there's different people. Like if you have boo boo the fool credit, your credit has got some shit going on. If the past 24 months you have not been making on time payments, a trade line's not going to help you. It's not because they're going to look at look at all this extra. The last 24 months of her own personal primary accounts or his or her personal primary accounts are bad. Late payments all over the place, not paying 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days. These things are going to kill you. They're not trade lines can only do so much. And when I've seen people put trade lines on those kind of accounts, they get a 15 point boost. So who wants to pay 600, 700, 800, a thousand dollars for a 15 point boost? Nah, that's not going to work. When you're at 650, 680, close, and you just want that extra little push over the edge to 620, 720 maybe. That's when trade lines work the best. And that's when they always work. But what ended up happening is people were trying to like wipe everything off their credit through these crazy credit sweeps, be 35 years old with no credit, and then put a bunch of trade lines on it and get 100,000 in credit cards. Okay, they could get it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Beacon TV, all you need is 600 for investing. Facts, Beacon TV, very much. Listen, the end of the day, the key is when you have a higher credit score, it helps with your mortgage rates. It helps when you buy cars rates, right? Because many of you are saying, well, Eric, I just want to get my credit repair so I can go get a car. And I go, unless your car is going to get down to 2%, you know, it, it helps with the interest rates. That's the focus. I try to get people stay focused. It helps with the interest rates because they're going to make a killing off you guys. You know, if you charge somebody 10% on a car, 10%, that's killer. But there's a lot of people driving around right now with 17% interest on cars. And when this new FICO score thing roll out in January, it's going to be a bunch of people paying 20%. I, I guarantee it. I can't guarantee much on here, but what you'll see next year is a bunch of people paying 20% on cars. And you're going to be like, that's that's crazy. Why are you doing that? They ain't got no excuse. They have no good reason other than they wanted the car. They wanted the car so bad. They were less than for the car so bad. They had to have the car. They didn't care that they paid 20% interest. Everybody hit the like button as you come in. There's like 42 likes and 120 people. Y'all don't like the commentary, okay? Uh, but at the end of the day, like, this is going to be pivotal. 90 days of bank statements. So for those of you who have rentals, a little side business, Uber, Lyft, whatever, start getting that mess over there. Start putting that money in that account. Get that track record. Right now, it's, 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 it's October 31st, Okay. Now, you've only got 62 days of track record. That means in February, by February 2019, you'll have 90 days worth of bank statements. I'm telling you guys ahead of time. I, I'm telling you as a person who's applying for loans currently, who's applying, who has thousands of dollars. I'm talking about 10, 15 and more thousands of dollars going in and out of my accounts. And even they're going, uh, can we see three months? I need to see three months. Sir, you see, I have thousand dollars on my account. Um, we still need to see three months. Trust me, if they're asking me for that, and people who have like five hundred and a thousand dollars running through it, they're really going to ask you for it. I got clients, engineers, husband and wife teams, engineers. They asking for their threat past three months. It's going to matter, you guys. They're doing that now. So <clears throat> let me see what you got going on here in these comment sections. You know, I got my glasses on, so we got to we got to get up here. We got to get in here. Oh, my God. You guys got a lot of comments. Thank you so much for the comments. Let's get the likes up. 126 of y'all in here. I'm stuck at the 660 range. Uh, DeAndre, uh, are you paying all your balances down on your due dates? What is the new game plan for this? Julia Dixon, honestly, the game plan is to get into the best game plan I can think of for a lot of you. Get those business bank accounts now. So by February, you have 90 days. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Get those LLCs going. It, 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 
honestly, if people are arguing with me about LLC still, I can't do anything for you. I, I really can't because unless you live in California where like Eric is 800 bucks, I get it. But the business lines of credit thing I'm talking about and, and trying to get uh, bank loans for your business, bro, I'm telling you. Y'all better start using apps to store money on your phone as a backup. Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Bro, there's so much I could say on that. And I'll, I won't. What if you you close the account in good standing? Basically, account that's just no longer needed. Um, Why would you close it if it's in good standing? Are they charging you fees? I mean, here's the thing. When people start saying they want stacks and stacks of business lines of credit, you're just going to have to get a file folder and you're going to have to keep records of this stuff. Was this the result of the loosening of Dodd-Frank? No, I think Harlem real estate, this is a combination of, um, because I'll be really honest, the recent Equifax breach, um, the recent, like just increase in credit repair nationwide, like prime example, these Facebook credit, credit repair groups, y'all act like they're not important, right? You're like, oh, that's not a big deal. When you have, I, I just looked through an inventory today of the 20 groups I'm in on Facebook. There were 2.5 million people once I added it all up because most of the groups were 300,000, 300,000 to 500,000. Now, why did I say 2.5 million? Because there's a ton of crossover, right? People are inviting their friends in this group and then they go to that group, then they go to this group and they're on these different groups talking. So I'm just doing low figures, 2.5 mil. Now, what happens when your cousin or your sister, or your brother starts figuring out the credit repair game? They go, girl, let me help mama. Let me help uncle. Let me help brother. Uh, same thing when 900,000 people hit up Navy League to get a Navy Federal because Navy Federal's been, listen, I would, you can go check this out. You don't have to believe my word for it. Go on my FICO forums, my FICO.com forums and type in Navy Federal Credit Union. You've got people since 2005, 2005. How many years ago is that? That's like 13 years ago telling people, man, Navy Federal's giving me 25K. Yeah. But guess who was in the forums? Military dudes, officers, Air Force people, Navy people, their spouses in these forums telling people, yeah, they're giving 20, they're giving 25, 30,000. Got a ton of black people in the army. Don't know nothing about that. Ain't heard nothing about Navy Federal. Ain't heard nothing about USA. I'm telling you, go check this out for yourself. Don't don't believe me, right? Because people are always like, Erica, you, I don't know about that. You ain't got to know about it. Go on there, go on my FICO forums, type in Navy Federal Credit Union and see where it's all the way back in 2005 and 2006. People are saying left and right, they're giving out $25,000. Left and right. Now, so this year what happened? Flip it back to 2018. People, 900,000 people, that's almost a million people, filed with Navy League. Now, let's do the math. Let me get my phone. Do the math real quick for y'all. If you had 900,000, okay, let me get over here. Uh, 900,000 people times $25. It might have been $65, depending on which Navy League you pay, but I thought it was 25. That's $22 million. You don't think the Navy League had to account to the government and everybody else that they were getting $22 million in a 90, 90 day, six month period, wash into all the Navy Leagues across the United States? They were freaking out in San Diego. They were sending money to Florida accounts. Navy leagues, they were sending them to VA, they were sending them up to up the coast where all these different Navy locations are, sending that money around. So it's a combination. This ultra FICO is coming anyway because people can manipulate the score. That's what trade lines were doing for a long time. But as you saw last year, trade lines, they, they tampered with trade lines because a lot of people would, would have cleared off their whole credit. And they thought, yeah, I just did a credit sweep, Erica. Ha ha ha. Then they get these trade lines on there and then they get still denied. But I got an 800 credit score because they're denying me. You have no personal accounts. You're a 35 year old person with no personal accounts. Does that even make sense? You're a 40 year old man or 40 year old woman with no personal accounts. Nothing. But you got trade lines. Come on. I mean, even TransUnion have started lately putting paid trade line on people's credit report to show that, oh, that's not. You know, yeah, the score went up. But at the end of the day, that was a paid trade line. That's not legit. You don't think other banks can see that? Trust me, I'm working with people every day who, I got 700 and I got, I got turned down. Okay. I, I told y'all, you know, I, I made the conversation about going to get these banks, getting these small credit unions, getting these loans now. 
instead of sitting out there going, well, I'll just use, I'll just do it last minute, get Oxford Publishing and, and Hutton and Chase. Those are good options. When I start credit repair for people, I always say, listen, you got about two weeks. Um, I'm going to mess with your credit, but you need to go right now. Go get that Ox, Ox Publishing. Go get that Hutch and Chase. Go get that new Coast Direct. Uh, go get that uh, Gettington. Go get that Finger Hut. You know, let's get you started with some personal trade, primary trade lines. And yet people go, well, I listen to somebody else and uh, they told me not to do that. OK, now you're back on my channel. You're not getting the credit card you want. You're not getting the business lines of credit you want. So what do you want to do? Do you want to follow the rules or you just want to hop channels? I can hop five different channels today and that's okay. But I'm telling you, when you come to my channel, you can either do what I'm asking you to do or in a few months, we'll be back at zero. We'll be back at ground one. I'm repairing people's credit right now where I'm on the phone with them. My score, the stuff came off, Erica, but my score is the same. Did you get any new trade lines? Did you get any secure loans? Did you get anything on there that I asked you to do in the beginning? Nope. Then it's going to stay there. It's going to stay there. People calling me ain't paid their bills. You think your score is going to improve if you're not paying your bills and paying your credit cards down to the, at least the minimum? Ah, you got to pay them down, y'all. I mean, this this all goes back to getting more money, whether that's these Uber, Dash, Lyft, whatever, or getting some of these tech jobs or going because people are like, where come on Indeed and it's only 30K jobs? Listen. There's multiple platforms that have only hundred thousand jobs on there. You need to be on LinkedIn. And you need to be getting a recruiter. I'm just telling y'all, and you don't have to pay for recruiters. They get paid out of the company that hires you. But I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on reading your comments. I only use credit unions. There you go. Thank you for the early warning. Yeah, I mean, I'm shocked that y'all don't know what early warnings is. Early warnings is been partnered up for a minute now. Michael Wally, my FICO score is 700 last November and now it's 606. Dang. That's a cold game. It is. There you go. It's called uh, Asian American Male Spirit State. It's called KAAR. It's a car alarm and they can repo it back easier. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it can track your GPS and find you and cut your car, off, stop your car from cutting on, you don't think that they can repo your car if they know where it's at? Come on now. LOA, you ain't paid. They remotely kill your engine. Yeah, they do. They kill the engine. Uh, Nikki, baby, I was on another live stream. He said Capital One has been randomly closing accounts. Yep. Now nah, I'm working hard. Been strapped for cash since bringing my accounts current. Niche homes, you got to do it. Facts, thought it steps well. Some credit unions have co-op or shared branch options as well. Exactly, Christopher Mintley, and that's what I mean. If you, if you're, if you're trashing other credit unions, they're going to let other credit unions in the area know. Straight up, period. They're going to let them know. Let's see. What else we got in here? Business bank account. Okay. Um, yep. Mars MG. I'm in Colorado Springs. How can I be of service? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, Mars G. Hey, you're in Colorado Springs. You're right there with... Uh, Military base. Yeah. Some credit unions require you to do a certain job or work for a certain company to utilize credit credit card services, though. That is true. Asian American Asian American man experience. There's a thousand two hundred uh, business bank accounts and credit unions in the United States. So that alone, you got plenty. Right. We could even break it down to when you get to certain states, there's hundreds, hundreds because USAA started out just for the military. But USA got so popular now. Anybody can join USA, but not anybody can join Navy Federal. And not everybody can join PinFed because PinFed is located where? On base. So even if you get a PinFed account, how are you going to get on base to put money in your bank account? How are you going to get on base to take money out of your account? Yeah, see what I'm saying? Solid Steps to Wealth. They better learn to play, learn a player, can't play a player. And those banks have been playing this game for years. They make money off bad debt and off bad decisions. Facts, facts, facts. And you think you these people are gonna be out here running around with with um you know multiple overdrafts, multiple late payments, and they still gonna get 20, 30k credit cards? Nah, baby. That's that ship's done. That ship's done, baby. I keep trying to tell y'all. I think y'all think I'm joking. Thank you very much. New to your show. No worry. 
Don't quit. Man, you know, I, I got a little exhausted this past week, just the way people have been at. Like, for me, I'm on YouTube, and this is happening, and this is something that's going to really hurt people who are just trying to go get in a home next year, people who are just getting their first car next year. And I feel like the communities who need to be talking about it the most out here talking about baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, uh, who's dating light skinned people. That's over. You, you can already see women and men are getting married at more and cohabitating more. Why? Finances. Financially, they need it. So people that gender war stuff is already over. It's over. The only people still fighting that is hood rats and ratchet people who don't have common sense to know. I need I need this person. I need a partner. Not just for good looks, but for somebody with some sense and they had to know that a recession's coming and our kids need to be at the best schools. Our kids need to be living in the best neighborhood. We need to have the best home we can get. We need to get rentals while we can get them. We need to move forward in life. And I'm telling you, like. You know, Glenn and Cameron had a great video earlier today on his Disruptive Mail channel where a lot of DG's dudes are like, hey, this is what I got. What's up? And I've actually been on dates and men are very much like that. Like, yo, I'm 40. Uh, got a nice house. Got a nice car. What's up? <laughs> and it's super funny, but it's true because people at some point people start going, OK, I got to pick somebody based off some something up here. Not just Big Booty Lisa. A central federal credit union automatically opens a business savings when you open a business checking. There you go. <laughs> what a difference a day makes. Happy you're back. You know, Frankie, here's the thing. I really, I wanted to do this video yesterday, but I was so thrown off that I'm like, are y'all for real right now? Y'all out here crying and, and people, this is the thing. People are like, well, Eric, I'm a minimalist and it doesn't matter because I, I live very minimal and, um, you know, I'll be fine. This recession won't hurt me. Are you kidding me? If inflation is going through the roof, cost of food's going up, everything's going up, rent's going up, you're going to just magically be okay because you have one couch and one one TV. You're going to make it through this recession. Stop. Stop. It's just insane. Chase is a 525 rule. Yes, Emmanuel Burgers. Uh, 525 rule. Uh, 524, actually. I was like, what's that number? Um if you have five new accounts in 24 months, Chase will deny you regardless of your credit. Some business cards might not apply. I got to double check. This is facts. Chase has been so Chase Freedom and Chase Freedom Unlimited have been the easiest credit cards for most people to get. Um, again, if you in the prior Facebook group, you saw that link I put up for the U.S. credit card guide and what order to do it. But Chase Sapphire has been this big thing everybody wanted this year. Chase Sapphire. Um, and what's the other Chase they always love? Chase at Freedom, Chase Unlimited, Chase Sapphire. There's two more. But essentially, when people get their credit clean, they'd be like, Erica, I can't open up these new accounts because um, I'm trying to get a Chase. And I would go, yes, that's important. But then you're missing out the fact that there's so many other credit unions and other banks you can go through. Does that make sense? So a lot of people were playing the Chase game because Chase Freedom was very easy to get into. But there's so many banks. Yeah, I'm point tacking. So many credit cards are cutting back on benefits. Yes, Nikki, baby, they are. Because people are doing people are doing a lot of manufacturer spending right now, and they're even cutting out that. Bluebird and um, Target and a couple places, Walmart, they're cutting back on that manufacturer spend. They're not going. Y'all can't play the game, play the player. Now, let me let's keep it 100. The Tylo Pez kid and the hack he was talking about. If you've got a hundred thousand in credit cards and you're moving money back and forth through manufacturer spend, I'm not going to get too deep into that. Sorry, my cord is getting tangled. But you could and you can move money all month long. You can be that's going to be like a part time job. You moving all that money back and forth to get the points. Now, at the end of the month, could you get five thousand to seven thousand dollars back cash back? Heck yeah. I've seen people do it. But for some of you who got kids and families and stuff when you work full time, do y'all got time like that? No. Do some of these young people that are 20, 21, 22 in college working part time jobs, they got time like that? It's seven grand coming to them from credit card rewards good like that oh heck yeah oh heck yeah totally worth it so that's been why people have been so crazy about these credit cards and getting the points back and all this manufacturer's been so <clears throat> all right it says 
Thank you, Ross Ox Tafara, for 199 Super Chat support. Thank you for supporting the channel. Always ready 24-7. We just had a live scan at my government job where we had to sign our lives away and give them access to everything. I'm clear, but some of my office are sweating bullets. Oh, yeah. Some of these guys at work gambling, uh, doing online gambling, online, you know, whatever. I'm just going to be keep it PC tonight. These government jobs that are scanning y'all background, they're going to find this shit. You out here trolling on YouTube, acting a fool, going, posting craziness, they're going to find you. You just saw the report where they busted in this, this guy's house. It was a black man who made a whole video about it. He was posting all this like pro-black stuff, right? Just, ah. Uh, and the FBI came and kicked his door in, took him to jail. Now it took him 10 months to fight the fact that what he was saying online was free speech. But guess what happened in that 10 months time? He lost his house. Lost his car, lost his job. Again, when people sit here and go, well, Eric, I'm free to do whatever I want online. I'm free to do whatever. Do you have the money to be free to do whatever? Do you have the lawyer fees to do whatever? Right? If you're in a house and you're just eking by, you have no savings. You're telling me over, it technically was six months, but in six months, this man lost his house to foreclosure? Where was his family? Nobody could throw some money on his on his mortgage. He couldn't get any loans. He couldn't use a credit. Listen, even if I'm in jail, I would tell somebody, hey, a wife or brother or sister, go get a cash advance. Go put some money on my mortgage. That's why people people out here on the Internet playing so hardcore, but they are dependent on a job. They don't have no assets. They don't have. You cannot be a revolutionary with no assets. OK, some of the biggest and baddest people in America are people with money with businesses because they can donate to whoever they want and won't get no backlash. Right. Jay-Z and Beyonce uh, released what? 2000 people out of Ferguson jails, which Ferguson got some weird stuff going on out there. If I do say myself, they bailed all those people out. People mad at them. But for what? Ferguson made money. The bail system there made money. You, that's the thing. People act like they're going to be wild out here, but you're not. You're not if you don't got no money. I suggest everybody tighten up. Ben suggests everybody tighten up. Thank you, Average Black Gamer 1499 Super Chat. I just want to express my appreciation I have for your content. You have helped me and my wife so much since I started watching you two weeks ago. Thank you so much, uh, Average Black Gamer. I really appreciate that. I mean, it really was your comments that <laughs> all the positive comments everybody had today. I was like, all right, take a deep breath. Do the show you were going to do anyway. I had to like, y'all just don't understand. I'm just like, y'all play too much, right? I'm on the internet like, Hey, hey, the house is on fire. Y'all better get these tax liens while you can. You better get this investments while you can. And people out there are like, nah, Erica, it's Christmas time. Get to the club. Talk about hoes. Like, just, it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Wow, Nikki, baby. First car when I was 19 years old, 16.9 interest. I didn't know any better. I paid the car off, and shortly after that, it got totaled. Never again. Ooh, Nikki, baby, that hurts. Fingerprints, pulling credit, any financial crimes, you're gone. Exactly. David Porter, three months. David Porter's not even three months. It's 62 days. 62 days until January when they can officially be out there acting wild asking you for your information. Y'all got, that's what I'm telling y'all, like, get that business bank account this week. If you need to go get that LLC, go get it tomorrow. I'm telling y'all. Trying to get my money up, debt down, and a husband. Hey, Nikki, baby, I understand. How much should you be sitting in your account when they pull it? Emmanuel Burler, some people are saying two and three, two grand. But here's what I'm telling y'all. I'll be careful. When the painting company had a really high, one high one month, we did like, we had 20 grand going in the account because we would get paid, but then we'd have to pay the subcontractors immediately. So the money come in, come out. We had 20 grand sitting there for a week. I can't remember what had happened. Um, but we were in there for a week because we had to, we had to dispute one of our, uh, we had to send some money back. And so we're sitting there and the bank called us, y'all. Straight up bank called us. Hey, can we get you any business lines of credit? You guys need anything? Off just off the strength of that one week, they offered us 30,000 on the business lines of credit. I'm telling y'all, these banks are watching like a hawk, like, oh, abnormal activity. Hmm. So, but if you just throw a thousand in there and you just take it back out the next day, I'm telling y'all, they're gonna they're gonna track that. That doesn't most people, that's how most people use their business bank account, their bank accounts anyway. They throw money in, two minutes later, they're pulling all the money out. They're pulling money right back out. So they're, they're, they already got your pattern down. 
Perry Hall, how do I get into tax liens? I have a 770 FICO score. You buy tax liens. Now, tax lien certificates is if you want to buy a house straight out. You're talking about Alabama. You're talking about Gary and Anna. I don't recommend Gary and Anna. I do recommend Alabama. Here, this is the... Oh, no, let me get it up here. Let's see if I put it in here. Where is it at? And I'm proud of all y'all getting on LinkedIn. I see you go here on this link. I'm putting in the comment section. Um, you can go get by the tax lien course there. Credit repair there. You know, the LLC course there. Oh, wait, no, I got to give you all the link for the LLC course, which it is in my course. It's my friend Kendra Barnes and a lawyer. Uh, they go over everything you need. But that's why I've been talking about credit so much this year, because I knew the changes were coming. I went to two conferences and they were big on like, yeah, we better get it. I use credit boards and info to fix my credit. There you go, Atlanta, Angela. It, it, it's important. But here's the thing. A lot of people aren't consistent and won't follow up. So that's I'm getting a lot of people who started one time. They wrote 609 letters one time. It didn't work. Erica, here, do this. And then, you know, so a lot of different techniques. I've got about 100 different um, credit letters I can use for different things. Listen, Jessica Hammock, if you're in Tennessee, register in Tennessee, period. Stop this LLC in Nevada and Delaware because this is what's going to happen. Everybody always asks me, what about Nevada? What about Wyoming? What about Delaware? For the tax benefits. You don't got to worry about tax benefits. You don't make enough money to worry about tax benefits. Tax benefits is when your company makes a million dollars next year. That's when you worry about it. You, when you go to the bank and you ask to open up a business a bank account and you bring your LLC from Nevada, the lady's going to look at you and say, do you have your form from, I think you're in Tennessee, Jessica, the state of Tennessee to be a foreign entity working in our state. And here's how this works. I'm in Texas. To start a brand new LLC in Texas is $300. To bring my LLC from North Carolina is $700. What sense does that make? Think about it. What is that encouraging you to do? Get the LLC in the new state, right, that you moved to. A lot of companies, that's what they're doing. They're having to either start a whole new LLC and sell one company to the other company. But if you're in Tennessee, open up your LLC in Tennessee. Get it over with. Do it. I mean, just get it over with. NC Administrative Counseling Consulting. If you're in Louisiana, the LLC is 100 bucks. The documents are free online. $40 notary free in the local areas. There you go, you guys. 100 bucks, Louisiana. No, no excuse. I love my FICO forms. I just decided to get a roommate, finally able to spend less money, less than 1200 in debt, want to pay it off. How will I increase points? Uh, Richard Banner, it depends on what's else going on with you. Only now that I'm Medicaid, I see where I messed up. Uh, Richard Brandon, you just, you know, get you a few extra weekends of door dashing and Uber and pay it off. Probably for the next six weeks and pay it off. That's $200 for six weeks. You make $200 every weekend for the next six weeks, it's gone. Done. Bye. It's done. DeAndre Stevenson, they just gave me a $25,000 credit line a month ago. There you go. What's up, Derry Bailey? <laughs> Robbie Rob, what's up, Erica? Great content. It's, it's awesome that you've been trying to help us do better, but unfortunately, some of us won't learn until it's too late. Oh, well, P.S. You have been on fire lately. I mean, hence the thumbnail. It's it's already on fire. And I'm just like pouring water. Like somebody, I'm pouring water. You guys make sure you hit the like button. There's like 72 likes and 180 of y'all in here. So listen, listen to y'all. Y'all, I knew y'all were going to ask them this. Hey, DeAndre, what's your credit score? And they gave you that 25,000. 660. <laughs> Navy Federal has their own scoring system. They don't have to follow the rules. Again, that's what these banks are going to do. They're going to have their own scoring system, you guys. It's true. A lot of ex-military don't know about USAA or the benefits they offer. Exactly. I meet a military viewer today like, oh, I just let my account close. And I'm like, are you crazy? Go back and immediately fix your account. Every single one of you who've been on a consult with me, you know it's true. If you are a military or former military person and you let your USA bank close or Navy Federal close, I'm on you like a hawk. 
that is the worst decision you'll ever make financially for the next 10 years. And I'll, I'll stand by that. I have an account with Pentagon Federal, although I have heard Navy Federal is a bond. Going over there, Atlanta, if you have that military background or someone you're married to or dating has it, do it. Why is TransUnion such a bitch? K, K Vaughn, exactly. TransUnion is the worst. Equifax is a beast, but TransUnion, I think, is honestly the worst. Equifax is worse than TransUnion to me. Well, if you're in Atlanta, if you're on the um, if you're in Atlanta, Equifax is the is the dominant there because that's where it is. But if you're in a state like Florida or um, Arizona or a couple other ones, TransUnion, everybody pulls TransUnion in your state. Different states, different things. You tried Trump Taleb as credit problem. How about this? Ming Lee? I actually know the original program is based off of, but I, I, I've actually actually watched the whole thing. Um, I can't give away too much information. Uh, I just respect people's programs, but essentially I know what they're doing. And I've talked about it in my um, private Facebook group, in the private Facebook group. I just did a whole video telling you what they did, like step by step and all they keep doing to increase the lines. Perry Hall and how do you get in the tax liens? I put the links in the video. Go to the links. You can buy that. Ty is just a marketer. He is. He has people. Um, Barclays like the closed accounts as well. I've heard that too. Can you get an LLC without a business established first? Sorry, I was confused. Um, Prince Lou, once you get that piece of paper, that LLC is the business. That piece of paper. That piece of paper is the business. Call it whatever you want. That's why people get so stuck on the name. I'm like, make the name so plain and generic. If you're in uh, Dallas, Texas, and Andre Hedges always says that your Dallas, Texas notary services, get as close to that as possible. Keep it so bland. I have a friend, Cam. <laughs> what was funny about Cam Cam saying about his business, I know some black guys who have like Lee and like some Asian names on there because their moms are Asian, but their dads are black. As their business company, like Lee Company, um, the other one was Shane Company. I mean, it was super easy names and they were getting credit left and right. So, I mean, there's a lot there. Thank you so much, Jason Pinkney. I appreciate that. Oh, PenFed has. See, I didn't know that about DMV. I finally just got Julia. I finally just got a Navy federal bank account for the first time. A friend got it for me. Now all I need is a business bank account with them. Girl, just bring your LLC paperwork and your EIN number. You're good to go. And the EIN is free, you guys. Go to iris.gov and get your free EIN number. But you need to go from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. East Coast time. Because if you don't, if you go during that time, boom, it'll generate one white array. But if you don't, it'll send it to you in a week in your mailbox. It's weird. It's the government. Exactly. USA. That's right. Anybody can join. Originally, back in the day, USA had it only military. Now, USA, anybody can join. Navy Federal, not so much. Uh, Ming Lee, uh, nobody can privately DM me. I prefer if you want to consult, you can hit the console button. Uh, that's really the best way to contact me. Uh, if you have a Navy friend that you live with, y'all share a house. Or you're blood related, sure. <laughs> Brandon L. <laughs> Brandon L, that's seriously what their conversations are at this point. And I'm like, y'all, it's there's so much going on out here. Shared branching co-op. You can use another credit union when you direct credit union. Yep. Yep, you sure can. That's right, Christopher Bentley. I'm telling you, Harlem Real Estate, they all about Big Booty Lisa and, and, and what she wearing and where she going and where can they find good looking women. I'm like, black women would, would work with you and deal with you if you had something about yourself. Glennon Cameron's been on fire lately, you guys. Check his videos out. He was talking about these guys calling women uh, gold diggers because they want you to have something. He's like, no, they're not. They're normal. They just don't want you to be a, but like a basically a loser, what he said, but I thought it was hilarious. Exactly. Something is definitely coming. I do construction and was in a neighborhood today with houses in the $300,000 range at the cheapest. These people had old beaters and driveways. Yep. Uh, it's not even a recession, Rob. You're up. I tell you, when I used to deliver pizzas, we go to the million dollar side of town, old Toyota Camrys, old Hondas, old paid off cars. You go to these old beat down, raggedy, about to fall on the ground apartment complexes, C units, and they out there with BMWs and Mercedes Benz. And I'm like, 
you need to get your life together so you can live in a better apartment. Like, this is disgusting. I also know a ton of people living together. Two to three strangers is crazy. Yeah. I got a Chase Sapphire Reserve this year. What? My pride and joy. Congratulations. I'm attending my first tax, delinquent tax sale November the 5th. Where, Garcia? Where are you attending it? Share with the audience. Discover cut a lot of benefits. Oh, yeah. Discover's been on the low pole for a minute. Thank you, Rastafari, again. Thank you so much. So Chase just closed my Chase Sapphire account just yesterday because I was applying for a lot of credit card and owed a balance. See, they they're so what they're doing is they're probably in the algorithm noticing you're getting a lot of inquiries and turning you down. Yeah. Harlem stories. Here's my thought on everything. Regardless of what business you start, because people always ask me what business should I start? Start with something, you know. But you just got to market. There's a book Grant Cardone has. If you're not first, you're last. It's really true. If you're not on the first page of Google, it's like, who is this company? Right uh, now, there are people who are diehard and will search page after page after page for articles. But most people go to the first and second pages of Google. And that's it. Mostly just the first page to get their answer. Same thing happens when it comes to painting companies, um, construction companies. When you're in a neighborhood with somebody, putting your sign in one of the neighbor's yard is like the best marketing in the world. When they see their neighbor that they think they're better than is getting their house painted the whole house painted, they going to call you over to come do an estimate at my house for free. You come give an estimate. You tell them it's $3,000. Now they jealous because the neighbor over there is spending three grand. They don't understand how, right? It, it, it's a, it's the best marketing in the world. So. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, baby, there's a lot of them like that. Let me see what else y'all got in here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're not. This whole new FICO thing is not to help y'all. Like, let's not get it twisted. Th this is not to help y'all. This is not to make your life easier. This is this is going to be you're going to be so focused on getting debt and paying your debt on time. Oh, good. Congratulations, Garcia. First, the money, then the revolution. Facts, Charles Ogilvy. Facts. Facts, man. Get the money first. What's going on, classy girl? Thank you, Drake. First the money, then the honey. Hey, man. Okay, I'm getting off subject, I know. Um. Oh, yeah, Elena, I'm, I'm, I'm having to be more focused. I really am because I'm like, I'm out here in the woods like, come, I got good information. Let's start businesses. Let's go buy real estate. And everybody's like, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, big booty Lisa, focus over here. Um, should you have more than one credit card? Brandon L, why not? Yeah, you should. Unless you have one credit card that has 100000 and you're just like, I'm good with this one. Cool. Credit card is just, at the end of the day, most people, if you use your credit card in one month, you need to pay it off at the end of the month. That's my personal opinion. You ain't got to agree with it. I think it just is neater that way. They're not making interest off of you, but everybody can't afford to do that. <laughs> There's no black power without green power. Facts all day. I think you should have at least six cards. Well, when your credit, when you come to your credit, it's three to six positive accounts. So let's do the math. Uh, three to six. OK, most people are going to have a car that they're paying off just to fax. A mortgage for those of you who have a mortgage. Uh, number three, a credit card. Number four, a student loan. OK, what's five and six? Most likely for most people, it's going to be another credit card. Just being honest. Tax lien conversation, please. Rastafari, we'll do a tax lien conversation tomorrow. I think I'll still be feeling pretty good. So we'll do a conversation on tax liens tomorrow. Uh, Mingli, it just depends. If they if they if that's the card they cut off for you, then you probably have to figure out some other manufacturer spin. Reopen the business account yesterday. Good. Oh, that's why Capital One's offering me all this credit. Hey, got a seven thousand from Pen Fed. Need another seven thousand for real estate. Who should I try? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with your accounts. I don't know what's going on your credit, your accounts. I don't know nothing about you, bro. There's a lot of online options. There's a lot of all kind of places.
Tiptoe chick. Oh, that's that's sad. I live in Illinois. What is the cost of an LLC there? I don't know. Anybody in the comments know the cost of an LLC off the top of their head in Illinois? Go ahead in the comment section. Uh, that's not that's not true, Garcia. Credit unions are for profit. Only credit unions that say they're not for profit, they will let you know. That's not true. Credit unions, lots of credit unions have business um, business accounts, business checking accounts, and give out business loans and equipment loans and SBA loans. So that's inaccurate. In, our, in my area, we have Crane Credit Union, which serves military personnel from Crane Naval Facility. Do you think they might be like USA? Um, CNN, call them and see what they say. Um, each bank is different. What time do you say get the EIN number? So it's best from nine East Coast Standard Time, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Because where's the government building located? Washington, D.C. So <laughs> you're right. Better disruptive mail. I'm telling you, Glenn's out there. I mean, he's got some really great information. I, I, I'm always just telling people there's so many people out here telling the same information just differently. And he has different levels of information, too, so. I see Hondas and Million Dollar Homes facts. South Carolina, good luck, Garcia, good luck. Erica Houseway, how? I know, right? Um, so, so some people are saying they don't have their LLC yet. So if you come in the credit union and you don't have an LLC, what you're still going to need is your EIN number. So then they're going to ask you, is this a sole proprietor business, right? So what are you going to need, you guys? A DBA, doing business as. Now, depending on your area, in parts of North Carolina is $14 and parts of other states is $26 is $76. So in my mind, just go ahead and get the LLC if it's going to be, you know what I mean? But you can get a DBA, but most banks will just want the, at least the um, EIN number for sure, for facts. And that's free. You can get that for free. Every time people, the government bail people out, they raise credit, aka scores. Oh yeah. Listen, here's the thing. Prime example. Remember they said the medical wasn't going to count. Oh, yeah, just hip a letter it. Your medical isn't going to count that much against you anymore um, because everybody was crying about medical issues with bankruptcy. Right. <clears throat> um, and it still it still counts. I don't know what you're saying. Thoughts on a writing business. Thank you, Roscoe, for the two hour super chat. Thank you, Mark DC one DC one Mark DC for the five dollar super chat. More information on the on the writing business, Roscoe, please explain to me. Heritage Trust Bank, go to another bank. So I should pull money from my savings and start a business account, put it there. Um, you could. How do you see the economic recession slash collapse going down with real estate? So Rastafire, here's the funny thing about real estate. There's so there's a thing called economic opportunity zones. And I'm not going to get into it tonight because it's too complex. But at the end of the day, you see all these people going to these lower income neighborhoods, building up properties left and right. They're still going to make their money, even if they build that house. And originally that house sold for two hundred thousand, and then eventually they sell it for one hundred and fifty. What's going to happen is that company that built that house there, they're they're in an economic opportunity zone, and they might get all their money back, almost like fifty thousand in incentives. But what happened is they have to come there, they have to build it, and build it up by the rules and the codes, and then they get the tax credits, right? And they can spread those out over years. So I, this is a deep conversation, but I don't want to take it too deep. Essentially, the companies that you see coming into certain neighborhoods, investing and buying will be just fine in this recession. Uh, same thing with rent. Like, like, here's what I saw. When I saw people with 10 and 12 and 13 rentals, they were fine. Their tenants sometimes would be like, oh, I'm going to be late with the rent. No, you're not. If you're late, you're going to be out. And then they would have the money. Uh, a lot of other stuff I'm seeing. Sorry. like uh, A lot of other stuff I'm seeing when it comes to real estate is people just flip slower. Right. So the guy or girl who used to flip. 12 houses a year. They're flipping four houses, five houses a year. They just slow it down. They don't stop. They just slow down. Those juices in here are great. Again, this had beets, carrots, kale, spinach, romaine, parsley, cucumber, lemon, and orange. It's really good. Got my energy back. Rock and roll, Dina. Hey, good luck. Watch it later. What's the finance option on auction.com? We talked about this before, FOA commercial and some other ones. 
150 in Illinois. That's cheap. 150 in Illinois. Thank you. This is how the chat works. You guys help each other out. Ah, thank you, Made Five. Look at this, Made Five coming here with the info. Navy Federal Credit Union MA requires a operating agreement along with the EIN and LLC paperwork. I found out the hard way. Again, if you are in my private Facebook group, you know I tell y'all to use Rocket Lawyer. Go on there and top up an operating agreement. It's so cheap. You can get on the free trial for the first week on Rocket Lawyer and type up what you need and get back out of there. Oh, honey, they're trying to get y'all in Maryland. That's just ridiculous. That's probably because they're so close to the White House. Some credit unions don't do business accounts, Erica. The first one I tried told me, so I just kept going until I got one. Oh, yeah, Yolan. Uh, you just basically go on the computer and, and look it up. Drake Chap, they close at 11 p.m. Who closes at 11 p.m.? I'm just telling you, Drake Chap, when you go to do your EIN number, do it from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. East Coast Standard Time. You'll get an automatic response. Even if you do it from 6 and 7 and 8, 9, 10 p.m., you're going to get it in the mail a week later. I'm telling you. Clients have learned the hard way. I have an old franchise two years ago where I can start for my business credit. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Refix that. Reword that sentence, G-Man. Thank you, Rastafari, for the $2 super chat. What's the name of the juice? This is a cold press juice from um, Press Juicery. It's really, um, it's just the company makes it local. Flavor is best three days from thing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Would you suggest opening LLC now being it's almost the end of the year? Wouldn't you have filed taxes against it if you open up this check account? No. Y'all y'all have so much misconceptions. Okay. If you open up a business at the end of the year, it doesn't freaking matter. Unless your business makes over $600, you will not have to pay taxes on it. Who? I don't know what y'all plan on doing in the next 62 days. Are you planning over making six, over $600 with your business? If not, stop being dramatic. Go get the LLC account. For those, of, those of you on here who want to do it, go do it. For those of you who are talking about you're going to get business accounts, you're going to open a business, you're going to start a business, you're going to get business LLCs, you're going to go invest in real estate, this is for you. For those of you who are worried and like, oh, I don't know, Eric, I'll just start in January, I hear that every year. I've been on YouTube almost five years. People are still telling me they're going to start next year. Next January, girl, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. If you ain't going to do it, this ain't for you. Just keep it moving. If it's for you, it's for you. If it ain't, it ain't. I'm thinking of starting a freelance writing business in the future. I may just start and work on Upwork and get my name out there and work. Okay, I see what you're saying, Roscoe. So yeah, Roscoe, do that, but still have your business checking account. Just go get a free business checking account because <clears throat> they have different banks have that. But what you need to do is make sure all the checks go there, right? So I think it's a good idea. I think more companies in the future are going to be using, again, we talked about soft skills the other day. Um, soft skills, you're going to need them. Admin, tech companies. Dude, I know, like, Ross Ox Tasfar, Arkansas has been in the news. They are supposed to be, it's supposed to be legal to lock up people and keep them in jail if they can't afford bail. Arkansas will be doing some old slave shit up there. I don't know what's going on in Arkansas. Okay, I have my own franchise for two years in LLC. Where should I start for credit? You should have, okay, G-Man, if you have a franchise and you've been in business two years, you should have taxes. You should have uh, tax credit. What you sound like, G-Man, is you need to call me for a consult. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you should be able to go get whatever credit you're looking for based off the record you've had for the past two years. Come to my farm and my wife will make you the best juices. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. OK, so it looks like the end of the comment section. Um, I think you are done commenting for tonight, but thank you guys for being here. It was good tonight. I look. look. You can get the credit repair. Don't get credit repair. It, <clears throat> you can do whatever you got to do. If you want to talk to me, grab a consult. I'm putting the links in here below. But at the end of the day, like 62 days. Okay, I see what you're saying. Renewal. Yeah, certain states have the renewal. Like North Carolina's is like in April. Um, other states is different times. But the fact remains like this is coming. 
This is already coming for those of you who are my private clients watching the video right now. You already know it's true. We've already been applying and been seeing it. You know it's true in this fact that they've been asking for that. I had my EIN in 20 years. There you go. Now, here's the difference. Even if you had your EIN in 20 years, um, they're going to say, okay, what are your last three tax returns? They've been big on that too lately. If they can't, if they can't Google you and, and look up in their system and their data for your business bank account, they're going to be like, where's your tax forms? And what do that gets people? A lot of people like trying to say, oh, Erica, I'm under the radar. You know, I'm just trying to be under the radar, Erica. It's like, bro, they're going to they're hit the like button before you guys leave too. It's 152 of y'all in here. 100 likes. You guys have been so well behaved tonight. I really appreciate it. You just don't understand going in other parts of YouTube. Like what is happening? <laughs> but look. Don't be scared of the ultra. Just know that if you're a person who have overdraft issues um, and, and stuff is going on in your bank account, it's going to show. You're going to need those last 90 days. If you're trying to get business lines of credit, going to need those last 90 days. You know, you're going to need them. Thanks again, Rox Ox Tafar, for the $2 super chat. Again, good luck, Garcia, in the uh, just observing the uh, tax lien sale tomorrow in South Carolina. You know, I think I have another show talking about auction.com coming up. I think that's the next one, right? No, the next one we were talking about tax liens. I'll put it in the notes. For those of you who've had missed calls or anything this week, make sure you email me. For those of you who are my tax, my credit repair clients, you know what's up. Let's get it in there. End of the year. So. All right, folks. This is Erica, Classy Clown Blog. Just finishing this out strong. I hope you guys have a great night. Um, you're great. You give me hopes to do better with my fans in my life. Yep. Yolan, $110 for South Carolina, LLC. They're helping each other in here. Anyway, you guys, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog. Thank you guys for hitting that like button before you leave. If you need anything or any courses, they're in the right hand side. They'll also be in the description below. Come on in. Let's get this finished the year out strong because you know and I know these changes are going to come and they're not going to be optional. They're going to be mandatory. Give it a minute. They're going to make sure of it. Uh, you guys have been great. Thank you for the good energy. All the positive vibes you guys bring. Help me keep getting on the channel. Sometime I quit and then I come back and then I quit and then I come back. So look, you guys, this is Erica, Classic Line Blog. Sorry so late. We'll get back on our earlier schedule probably next week. You guys do know I'll be going to Afro. I'll be being in Baltimore this weekend. Then next week we'll be in uh, Afrotech San Francisco and then we'll be in Las Vegas. So a lot is ahead of us. So be, brave, be prepared. I have good office staff working. Thank you, guys. You guys are the best. Erica, out.